Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Crazy D's Equipment. We're up here with my friend Greg in Kewanee, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. And we're going to go over his pretty decent collection of case tractors. So let's, let's check it out. The uh, 930 video or 560 video propane, will it start? That's this tractor now, so in the process. Okay. Uh, all right, so let's kind of just walk through this shed and then we got another sh another to go bigger ahead. shed. No, there's only about six or seven in the other shed. In the other shed, so this is this set. So we'll start off with this one here. And some of the guys may recognize this one or not. Because this is this tractor you you come down and got for me. Right. This is uh this was going to be my pulling tractor, and I just didn't have time and stuff to get it done. So you took it over for me. So it's an oh, what is it? Sixty. It's sixty eight nine nine hundred, right? It is sixty. I, re, I can't remember uh, the year on 58. it. Fifty eight. Fifty eight. That's what I'm saying. Nine hundred. Fifty eight nine hundred. And you you see this little scooter fender because. It looked like they were checking the disc blades uh, yeah, from like the top to the bottom. Yeah. So eventually, I patched it up a little bit and mm -hmm. uh, cool. so forth. Put a fresh engine in it for them. We took the seat. Yeah. Which is, you, well, you kind of set this thing up as a puller. So. Well, no, I more or less set this up for you. Yeah. With this heavier seat suspension and so forth. Yeah. But. So, but so she runs pretty sweet. We gotta get well, some. We'll, someday we'll get it back. And then yep. this 930. This came for me too. You bought this one from me. This is. I do believe. I was thinking. This is the first one you bought for me. The very first two time you come down and bought a tractor from me, you bought this nine. This 930 for me because this came from a guy down the road for me. Uh, that it had set out in front of his place and I'd eyeballed it for years. And then I bought it, and then I was like, well, I'm not what I'm going to do with it. And I, me, I can't, you know, somebody offers me money, and let, I'd sell my kids. So, uh, <laughs> so the moral I'm let of the this story one go. is, yeah. who shot it? Yeah, that's right. This is the one that had been sitting that had bullet holes in the air breather, and, and the intake manifold had a bullet hole right. in it. And you got that patched up and replaced the bottom plate. But, and I don't even remember. Remember the story of how it got shot, but it got it got shot up pretty good. This LA did this is one of my very first ones. Yeah. Actually uh it started with an RC which I sold off and then I got the LA from the neighbor here. And uh, when I got that the head of the valve was sticking through the head. Oh man. Because it was on a sawmill. It was on a sawmill. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's, um, keep let's, down. Yeah, let's move on down here. Okay. This one I got, believe it or not, off of uh, a folk auction. Okay. And the reason why I recognize it because it got the inside the rear wheel weights. And when this is all loaded up, I say she'd probably come close to twelve thousand because it had the outside big weights plus the inside weights. Twelve thousand pounds on this nine thirty. Eleven or twelve thousand. She's a heavy girl. I'm gonna get the mini. I don't get a lot of minis on the channel because there's not a lot of minis down in my area. So, but you this you got this one all fixed. It's set up for pulling also. Yeah. The last time I had it on the dyno, I think she was putting out close to seventy horse. Seventy horses. Yeah. That's pretty good for UB. Well, wait till you see my other mini. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, but uh, 
It's set up nice with power steering and the whole works. Oh, wow. So, this is a 800 disguised as, or I mean a 900, but it does have a DI heads on. So, and you, you, you put the turbo on this one. No, that's the other one. <laughs> that's the other one? Yeah. Now this is, yeah, this thing. So this, but it's got this, this, the heads are souped on this one then. Yeah, and the the reason why I got this insulation, uh, the fuel lines right here, mm -hmm. I try to keep them cool off the exhaust manifold, and basically it got a lot of 970 insides in it. Nice. So this is 970 disguised as a 900. But it's original block yet. Yeah. I'll just kind of talk about these here general that she can't she can't really get back it's kind of hard to get back into them but 500 diesel 930 square fender 600 pro propane yeah which they're pretty rare mm. pretty hard to come by there's only 3,000 some odd made yeah or, or 300 some made is that a mead cab on the on the 930 uh, back there I know that's a mead cab. That's a mead cab on this 930. One yeah. of these cab 930 since you get from me, or did I, I have one and maybe you didn't ended up not buying it. No, I wanted to get that one where it had the extra wide cab. Yeah. And you had sold it off. Oh, that's right. At I had sold same it before. time when I came to pick one up by you. Okay, yeah. Yeah, because I, I tell you what, I had sold... I had a 900 with a mead cab on it, with the older rounder mead cab on it, and I was really upset. I sold it, and I have kicked myself every day since that I sold that one. It was there yet when I came to I pick know. this one up at night, yeah. and to do it over again, I would have taken that one home. Yeah, yeah. So Because you just don't see those white cabs. Yeah. So, And then, if she can get it back on footage here... Which, if you get back here, this this 930 on the way back side here, you might need to come around the other side. Come through here. Come through here. So she's, that's why I got Ange filming, is she's tiny and can fit places I can't dream of. She got through there. Yeah, she's going to get through there. She's tiny. But the, the one there, the one behind you, if the guy, people from the channel recognize that one, my third video was that tractor I believe called road trip we went me and Christopher went down and picked that one up from down by Wichita and brought it up here and it was a non-runner when we got it and Greg got it got it up and running now fresh engine, fresh engine in it so but that's the one that was the uh, uh, Sedgwick County mowing tractor for years and years so uh, that was one of my first well, first videos were on that tractor there so but I, that and then ones behind her come some of those come from me too I do believe mm-hmm so you were a good tractor sales I, I I've been doing good I oh. I, I got a, I got a, a good outlet to get rid of the 930s when they come in <laughs> so we have sent quite a few up your way, so. But anyhow, so we, I guess we check out the other ones in the other shed. Right. Yeah, they all get pretty dirty in here. Oh, that one. Oh, yeah. First time you can see one like that. Oh. When she gets done there, we'll have her come check out this one over here. Yeah, all my old steel wheel ones. So far, all my old C's and CC's. Between three guys, they bought everything up. Yeah. All right. So I want the guys on, in the comments to tell me what's wrong with this tractor. I'm gonna Vanjie give it a good walk around, 
get it in the f all of it and they can tell me what what's different about this tractor what makes this 930 not like any other 930 you're going to see try to get it all in the footage can that little lady Ford sitting in here with all these uh with all the cases and stuff just looks so incredibly out of place <laughs> and yeah so tiny Get a good, get a good wide shot of it if you can. So I wonder if they, anybody sees what's the difference right off the bat, what makes this 930 different from any other 930 you're gonna see. Daniel's going to have fun editing this. That's all I can say. Sorry, Daniel, since I know you're hearing the audio while you're editing now. I'm just not sure what's what you're, what's different. Well, all right. So, well, someday, here soon, we'll get this to. So I'm hoping here soon to, to get this one, get settled up with Greg and get this one back home. This is gonna be a fun tractor. At the end of the video, before we close up, I'll tell you what that 900, what made it different from any other, another one you say, you've seen, but let's go ahead and transition and move over to the other building of the tractors you got there. And I'll let Angie walk you guys through those. I rebuilt the engine and I put 970 DI heads on it. And then I turbocharged it. And then you turbocharged <laughs> it. Yeah, so it, it makes a nice pulling tractor. Is that why you turbocharge it so that it can pull? No, just to have somebody get mad at me for it. Okay, I got you. You know how that happens. I do. I do. I really uh, like this one. I don't know why, but. It's huge. It came from our place, that's why. Yes, the, uh, the, the, this here tractor came from Dave. Actually, it was a two-trip tractor because one trip was the blade and so forth. And then I came back and got the rest of the tractor. Okay, so you, the front part was taken off? Right. Yeah. And Daniel pulled the blade off for him. And... These are in really good shape. Did you do anything to this? Well, Did you I paint some it? some of them out. Okay. But, um, it looks great. It's super clean. Um, I got a set of weights out back, the thousand pound weights. They'll go on this one. And I do believe, yes, this one already has the inside weights. What's the point of weights on a tractor? A lot of traction. Okay. A lot of traction back there. Okay. So when you're pushing or pulling or it's really, really muddy. She, well, she's going to be, uh, 10. it's going to be between uh, 11 and 12,000 pound tractor. Okay. And this old 400 back here, that was my dad's off the farm. This oh. is one of the first ones. Okay. How and old is this? Uh, this should be a 55 model, I think. And so your dad owned this, did he, and he used it? Mm-hmm. Okay. I, re I like the, is this original, these stickers? Uh, for the loader, but the loader was put on in later years. Okay. The original loader that I can remember was a Davis loader on it, and this is a Durham or something like yeah. that. Like that, yeah. I think I'm gonna drive this one. <laughs> I just, I just. You like that one? The wheels are taller than me, almost. I think you, I think you could handle it. I think you could drive that. One. I would be so scared. Everybody would have to clear out for a mile radius. <laughs> <drive> that one. <laughs> the turbocharged one? Yeah. I don't think I should be trusted on that one.
Okay, we want to start with this one. You want to start with the mini? You start with the mini. Um, lots of cubic inch. I believe this is 596, 597 cubic inch. On the motor? Yes. That's big. Yes. It's very big. And you use this to pull? Oh, Did you pull this? Well, I, there's stickers all over. Okay. They, they give me a new sticker every year. Okay. And it has a swivel chair? Yeah, well, that's the way minis were. Deluxe seat. Yeah. Ooh, it's cushioned too. Yeah. Well, that's that's nice. Uh, that's made with uh, uh, filter cloth. Yeah. Yeah. You'll never wear that seat up. You'll wear your pants out, but you'll mm -hmm. never wear that seat up. This is comfy. Yeah. The only thing is, it had it had more of a deck on it at one time, but yes, you're kind of hanging out there when you're when they were doing field work. And, well, the deck would be way back here. Yeah. And when they hook up to the eliminator, they don't like to have to fish that hook underneath there. Why? What is the point of having a swivel chair? Why would I want a swivel chair on a tractor? Out of the way, and you could stand if you wanted to on the deck when it still had a deck. Okay, and so steer yeah. from there. Okay. And you know, if you need to, if you need to be looking over the right side of the tractor, you can swivel your chair that way. If you need to look over the left side of the tractor, you can swivel your chair over that way. So. You, you, does it make it more desirable as a collector to have one that's a swivel chair, or what's they more? They were all that way on minis. They were, yeah, okay. That was standard equipment on them. Okay. And this one, I got the fenders wide and way out because I was at an indoor pool one time, and a lady was driving, and it was an Oliver, and she flopped it over on the top of the eliminator, and lucky enough. With an Oliver, there's a lot of room between the steering wheel and the fenders that she got in there. Oh, wow. And uh, a couple of classes later, she, she got back on it and pulled it again. That's a tough gal. I think I would well, have been scared. Well, like you say, you fall off the horse, get back on. True, but I never heard them say flip a tractor and get back on. Yeah. <laughs> I would have run for the hills. Uh, I would have said, nope, nope, done. That one that you've seen in the other shed with the cab on that uh, rear entry, originally that cab came off of this tractor. Uh, this one this I got one. out of uh, Sterling, Colorado. And this got the 26-inch rubber. It's got the 26-inch rubber on the back. This is huge. It still has the seat cover. These are just so nice and clean. Now, we're going to put her to the test again. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. What do you see about this tractor? This one? Yeah. Okay. You can come on this side. Okay. What do I see about this tractor? That's different from. Um. Mm, there's a handlebar on the hub. <laughs> <laughs> this is the only thing different that I see, but I I don't know. And there's a I can step up on it easier, maybe. Maybe. If you're familiar with these, it's pretty obvious. Um. The black thing, because everything else is orange. I don't red, know. Red, red, red. I meant red. I was thinking red. Um, I don't know. Okay, this is basically the same tractor as all those other ones were. Okay. And one thing you probably didn't notice was the front. They got a narrow front on it. Oh, I noticed that, but I, d I thought I was looking for something else. These yeah. two curved-in wheels? Yeah, they got the narrow front, and um, they got the integral power steering on it, like off of a row crop tractor. 
We saw those at the Keating Tractor Show, and I learned about row crop tractors then. They never made a row crop 930. No. Oh. They never this is made one, one of a kind. One of a kind. Greg built this. Oh. Yeah, I, I converted the steering over, and if I don't get some steering assist rams, I'm gonna have to do this to more of them <laughs> because. <laughs> Most of the hydraulic shops do not want to work on these rams anymore mm -hmm. because they're pitted and they're scored and you can't do nothing with them. You take this thing to shows, how many people catch that it ain't? It ain't well, they right. walk around and look at it and they're thinking, oh, this is like a row crop tractor, but then it got a hand clutch. And you can always catch they did have some hand clutches on row crop tractors, but the easiest way to catch it is either there are eight speed or else they had square axles. Where okay. weed lens were all round axles. Okay. What about And this actually thing? underneath internally this tractor and that six hundred, except for sheet metal, are the same tractors. Underneath. Engine, transmission, and all that's all the same. Huh. So the same as this one. That's super cool. The rims are different. Yeah. But if you want to stand up against some taller tires, if you can squeeze in there. That tires one's... might be taller than you. I think they are. I don't think it takes much either. Yep. Oh, yeah. Tires taller than taller. me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It doesn't take much. We had the kids sitting inside some big old combine tractors at the state fair last year. Oh, yeah. They really enjoyed that. They just curled up in the wheel and sat there. And this is one of your pullers, too, isn't it, Greg? Yeah, I pull with it. There's some places they. Uh, they got that cut off here, so mm -hmm. I got to pull with them. So all of the trackers that we've seen today, are they all in use? Do you use them all or are some of them just to keep and tinker with? Both 50-50? Yeah. Yeah, I'm nervous. a little case in the corner yet, too. This one in the far back. Can we make it back there? Sure. I can make it. Ah. At 9.30. It's beefy. Mm. Anything special about that one there? No, no. That's just a standard square fender. I am because the seat is different and I want to. That is the way the seats are supposed to be. Yeah. With your little armrests and stuff. Yeah. I'd have to adjust this one too to reach the pedals. I like this one too. This one just feels beefier for some reason. Especially when you're driving it. Mm hmm. I like the seat on it though. <laughs> That's important. Well, yeah, if you're going to be bumping around and such for hours and hours, those have, oh, that's a different, that's a Moline, that's why yeah. the hubcaps are different. Yeah, and that's my little case. The linger saw. Well, that's actually a 444. Yep. Garden tractor. Got to have the snow blower up here. You always get them down my area. They'll come with a snowblower, and you can tell it's never been used. Never, ever been used. Yeah, we just don't get the snow. Yeah. Yeah, back to this one. Oh, that's 800 heads, 800 jugs on it. Um, like you say, there's a lot of cubic inch in there. Um, I used to weigh it at 8,500, and I'd spin out idling. Pull it at 8,500. Uh, now it's set for 6,500. Get the camera. Or 
sale. Well, we normally no, 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 let it go. Yeah. You take this back south with you. Mm -hmm. The seller has a puller. Are you letting it go because it's a Moline and not a case? Nope. At one time, if you ever noticed the sign in my yard, says Case Country and some M&Ms. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't see that part of it. I just saw Case yeah. Country. Yeah, and there's little M&M candies there with some M&Ms. Uh-huh. Uh, we used to have a G1000 Wheatland LP, which is kind of rare. Mm -hmm. And then I had um, seven U's like this. Oh. And, well, I sort of fixed them up, but um, I know five of them are on the circuit as pullers right okay. now. Okay. So they're in use. Oh, yeah. Awesome. It's pullers. Some pretty decent rubber on the back of the intersaw. Oh, yeah. Well, it was, I did anything I could to slow it down. The dealer claimed that this is one of the last ones put out into production. Yeah. And it was built in order to keep up with zero turns. Oh, so. Oh, was... God, is it fast. <laughs> <laughs> you get the yard mode in 37 minutes? Yeah. 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 All right. So these tires actually slowed it way down. They slowed it down. And it still could go slower. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you love the video as much as I loved making it and meeting Greg and his wonderful family. We hope you come back and join us for more videos. Have a great day.